gas turbines. Hmm. Hmm. Do I want to do that? It only gives me two. Let's check this real quick. Move everything. No, not that. Gas. No, no, no. Stop it. There we go. Stack some gas turbines in here. I don't really care where, just there. That puts us to 34. That is, in fact, not any better, so. I was seeing if it was any better, because it gives me better uh, efficiency. It's also help if I hit the right freaking button. We need boilers and boiler two, and then steam turbine a billion. I could put a bunch of these on there actually. How many can I fit? Not that many apparently. Part is deployed outside area, indeed. How do I remove stuff? There we go. Let's put that on it. Move you, copy you, slap you there. So we're up to 47 now. Hooray! That's a good enough speed. Except we don't have any sort of ventilation. Probably not good for the crew. Let's fix that. So we need four ventilation. The best we can get is two. Oh wait, nope, we can get four out of that. Can I fit it anywhere? I can. Single smokestack, go! We don't need torpedoes. So instead, let's get more machine guns. Because that's the next best thing when you don't want torpedoes, is obviously machine guns. When I say some, I mean a lot of machine guns. Can I not fit one here? No. I think that's all the machine guns I'm going to fit on here. Oh, nope, there we go. And even more! Can I fit any on the back? Can I fit any here? No. For whatever reason. And I could fit some on the back. Let's put one right there. There we go! There's our new boat. It's not a, ca a cruiser, because I'm a dangus and forgot to freaking research the actual proportion for cruisers, but hey. Look at all the sweet machine guns on it now. And the single giant stack of carbon producing that was going to happen today. Alright, we're good. I don't have any torpedoes now, but I don't really use torpedoes, so it's kind of null and void. The only time I use torpedoes is as a submarine. Because it's, like, the only way they can hit things while underwater. All hands alert. Full speed ahead. And on this mission, we're assisted by this man back here, Funden. Secondary fun objective dip. added. Fun dip is not very useful, so fun dip can just go do whatever he wants. I don't really care. So we need to sink 32 boats and four submarines. Hooray! How bad is the delay on the stream? It's about that bad. You can mount uh, surface guns in your submarine and then run around on the surface and shoot things. They're just so small you can't fit very very much on there. They have a relatively low weight limit and their actual surface is relatively small, so you can't really fit a very large gun on it. I have a lot of machine gun ammo now. Now I have slightly less. Hooray! If you surface, can you still fire torpedoes? Yes. When you're, when you're submerged, you move a lot slower, but you can't be hit by surface weapons. So, you know, you have to be hit by mines or depth charges or planes slash helicopters, stuff like that. Uh, your surface weapons don't work either, but, you know, trade-offs. We're gonna do submarine missions, because it's forced on me. I'd rather not do them on the first run-through, because they're so slow. But there will be submarine missions. Dramatic music. You're dead. 
I think. He's not actually dead. They've upgraded their submarines. Oi! Oi! Stop engine. Full speed ahead. Enemy ship sunk. Upgrade your submarines. I don't need this crap. Can you fire missiles from underwater? Some missiles can be fired from underwater. Not all missiles can, though. Stop engine. Okay, that one died instantly. I need to pay attention to the actual names on the submarines, because that does denote their difficulty to kill. So those die really easily. The XXI. The 21. Submarine 21s. There's another 21. We only need to kill two more, so... I think he's died one. Yep, but I accidentally shot it again. <laughs> Whatever. It'll be alright. Also, our fleet's over there doing fleet-like things. I.e. shooting each other. Because who doesn't like shooting each other? Can't you just have a million missile launchers? Yes. But missile launchers don't come with a lot of ammo. U-boat 21, indeed. Look at them go! How naval battles don't occur. Spoiler, they don't occur 50 feet from each other. There's actually a box there, a parts box, no less. I require that. Eventually, they'll kill everything over here. How did that one ship fire infinitely? Because it's the AI. On the preview screen, where it says press start, like if you just idle on the start screen, they have uh, limitless ammunition as far as I'm aware. You know, you guys can just keep shooting each other. I'm gonna pick up all this loot, if you don't mind. Thank you. Probably should have picked a different weapon when I picked up ammo, but whatever, I'll do it now. There we go. Have some more ammo, my machine guns. Have some more ammo. There you go. Loot. You can get a part that produces ammo, which will give you infinite ammo, uh, but it's not exactly the cheapest thing in the world. Hello, Admiral Hipper. There's a lot of Admiral Hippers over here. Admiral Hippers everywhere. And a battleship. The Bismarck, no less. The Bismarck, as it, as it turns out, is a very beefy vessel. Hello. You should probably shoot at me, you know? I set you on fire. Do you not care about that? Enemy battleship there we go. Took long enough, good lord. And there's funds over here that we'll qu quickly grab. More funds. I like funds. Keep in mind, this is on easy, they shoot less, uh, they deal slightly less damage, they have slightly less health, I think? So, who do we have? We have lots of destroyers and a battleship. Oh, and some cruisers in the back here. Something just shot like 16 torpedoes over there. Oh, it's this dude! This dude's got like 16 torpedo launchers or something. Look at all the torpedoes they're shooting. That's the little carrots on the uh, mini-map in the center here, by the way. Look at them all. You guys shoot enough torpedoes, good lord. Just get more cannons, it works better. Did I just drive by someone? I don't think I did. It's all right. All of, you're not dead. There you are. I missed. Well done, me. Give me your loot. Thank you. Sell all the boats. No. Not because there's some over here now. By the way, look at the health bar on this battleship. Fund in there. I don't think it's actually a battleship. I think it's a cruiser. But look at his health bar. It's massive. Oh no, that is a battleship. Good to know. There's health. Is there any more loot around here? 
Onward! For great justice in this direction. Because there's some boats over here who are not doing their job. I don't know where they are. There they are. Nope, that's. Oh, there they are. I found them. They're drawing. The water stops drawing before the boats do. That seems like a bit of a silly design, but whatever. Let's help. Hello. I see you. You're a boat. You're a submarine, specifically. The submarine AI is derpy regardless of difficulty. For whatever reason, they just ignore you, like, 90% of the time. I think something's just wrong with the AI on submarines. Oh. You have spotted me, have you? There they are. I'm glad you guys can shoot this far. Because I can't. <laughs> They're like the least accurate thing I've ever seen at this range, though. Like, look at that. You people are hitting everything. Good lord. What would you do about a lone ship taking out fleets at a time? Uh, I would tell people to shoot at it when it shows up, because these guys are fully capable of killing me if they would just shoot me. They're terribly inaccurate. Alright, let's start picking them off. Plus, they keep bringing out these destroyers that die instantly. Like, who thought this fleet composition was a good idea? Let's pick up some of these dinghies. My left... my L1 button's a little bit derpy. Oops, that's not at all what I wanted. Don't mind me. Backpedaling while I'm shooting it. Oh yeah, and you can't turn while you're stationary. As you might expect, given it's a freaking boat, but hey. We have dealt a devastating blow. Let me kill this last ship. You're not going to, are you? Is ramming a thing not on easy? You can you can't damage uh, other boats by ramming them, but on harder difficulties you get damaged. There is a, a boat design or a hole that you can eventually get that will damage other boats. We don't have that though. You can do entire missions by just ramming everything to death. We'll be resupplying at the dock. Oh, really? That's what we do every mission, basically. We have a long battle ahead of us, apparently. Why didn't I kill that last thing? Eh. It wasn't a terribly high chance that it was going to drop funds or a part. So, I'll just end the battle. I got a new flag. I forgot you got flags, quite frankly. And thankfully, it gave me a carrier or a cruiser bridge as well, because I forgot I never researched one of those. I need to research an aft bridge. I need to research so many things. This is why you don't research holes so rapidly. Gosh darn you people. Sorry about the interruption. I had to fix uh, Guitar Guy's tie, not that anyone really cares, but apparently I already saved as well. I double saved. Let's continue. Against the whirlwind. Uh oh. Werble winds. Werble winds? Werble winds. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> Hooray! Double save. Half Life 3 confirmed since everyone seems to like that. Sink the enemy super battleship. This is our first, uh, I am recording again, yes. It's our first, uh, boss battle. I have, for the live stream people, I've actually got a different screen region because the PS2, for whatever reason, is outputting with black all the way around. I don't know why. So, uh, the way it's capturing is with black all the way around, but I've got it screen regioned properly for the live stream. 
so it's just the uh, the four three game with little black bars on the edge, so you can't actually see the recording icon. So that's the thing. Those are land vehicles, yes. My God, it's more like an island. It is actually quite large. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna see how much of a hassle it is to fix it uh, for YouTube. If it's too much of a hassle, I'm just gonna upload it as it is, because it's just how... I don't remember the PS2 doing this, but it's just how it's outputting. Every game I've put in it, it just does this. I don't know why. It's bizarre, but whatever. Our ship has orders to support the fleet. Dun dun dun! What is the biggest ship you can get in regards to this one? Uh, in regards to cruisers? Or just in regards to the game? The biggest ship you can get in regards to the game is a twin hull battleship. Which, if you're unaware, is just two battleships slapped together, essentially. Oh, the boss thingy. Oh, you can get big ships for bosses. I think... One of the bigger ships, I don't remember which, like, how big they are in relation. One of the bigger ships is a submarine, and then there's another one which is a twin uh, carrier. It's actually a quad carrier. It's a quad flight deck carrier. So it's got four flight decks, which is a bit ridiculous, but hey, if you want a giant carrier, you're going to need a lot of flight decks, so... My ship is still in the dock. Oh no! He's useless anyway, it's alright. Bill Yamato. This game, I should mention. This game has preset designs that you can unlock that are actually based on historical ship designs. So you can have ships that are historically, you know, accurately designed. And, you know, play with those. They're not very effective compared to what you can build, but, you know, that's a thing. So let's look at our R&D mode again, because uh, I'm hurt derp and forgot to research pretty much everything required to run a car cruiser before you actually get this stupid thing. So we need a command, a bridge here. So it looks like a good one to get would be the UK bridge. Let's look at the radar center. So 8-3, 30 tons, 8-3. Three. They're all 8-3. The only reason I say UK is it's got 25 command, which is the same as the US one, but it's 5 less weight. So slightly more command, slightly more weight, basically. I got the bridge from the battle. Uh, I got a bridge from the battle. The thing with... Well, I don't actually need more than one bridge, but when you get a part from a battle, you get one of them. Which means you can only put one down until you research it. I just like to have stuff researched. So let's get an aft bridge as well. Let's see what we can get. We could get a second level aft bridge, but I'll pass on that for now. Oh, we, we got an aft bridge, apparently, because we have one of these in stock. At some point, we got one of those. So let's see. 12 tons, 10 tons, 32 command. That's actually really good. UK, why are your bridges so good? It's a terrible shape, but why is it so good? 7362? Oh my god, UK's got really good bridges, apparently. You people. Alright, so we have bridges for cruisers. Let's make sure we have propulsion. Now I'm curious here. So only destroyers can use these more efficient steam turbines. I have to use the less efficient ones on the cruiser. So the most efficiency I could get on a cruiser is 41 right now. Well, 43 if I had the funds. What does command do? I can't remember exactly what it does. Someone would have to look that up for me. Or I could look it up a bit later today, but I can't remember exactly what it does. I think it's just a general, like, a buff to a bunch of different things. I 
Well, we need a steam turbine, so... I mean, I want it now. Why is this one cheaper than that one? That's bizarre. <laughs> What's going on there? Steam Turbine 7 is cheaper than Steam Turbine 6. In fact, it's cheaper than Steam Turbine 4. Same as Steam... What is going on there? I don't know. Let's just stack all those up. I can't speed that up. I could speed up this. Just so we could build a cruiser. Wouldn't be very fast, though. I want to build a cruiser to show it off, so... We'll waste some funds here and there. Not like I haven't already wasted a bunch of funds getting this going anyway. Whatever. Now can we design a freaking cruiser? That'd be glorious. Whole type cruiser, Japan cruiser one. Slap the engine on it. I could actually use gas turbines here. I've only got two of them though. Mm -hmm. We'll basically have to use the boilers in a steam turbine. Out of curiosity, can I fit this? I can fit that. Wow. Let's put it right there. So that gives us 43 knots, except it's our entire weight limit. I don't think that's a viable idea. So we would be going 26 and a half. Hmm. That is some rapid speed going on there. I'm telling you. I'm just gonna randomly place these for now until I get the basic stuff in. That's probably the trade-off for the UK pieces, is it's freaking massive. Look at the size of that aft bridge, man. That ass bridge is massive. Alright, so we need... Our weight is already way high. We need guns. Lots of guns. Now this is, this is actually a ship where you can put side-by-side -side guns like this, but I don't see a... I don't see that being very useful, so I usually just do single columns. Standard affair, single column nonsense. What do you mean part is overlapping other part? Don't give me that crap game. No, seriously. Now every part's overlapping every other part. We thought this was a good idea. There we go. Guns! We need more guns! No, don't do that. Although you know what I've just done? Ah, to move them all forward now, because I didn't vent the boilers. I wish it would just not let me put the part down when it didn't fit. That'd be a lot easier. I forgot we didn't put smokestacks, because I'm a dangus. So we can get six boilers vented relatively small space. There we go. Sweet. That worked well enough. The problem with Navy Field at like the end of its lifespan was it was just not balanced in any really reasonable way. And that's basically what ended up killing it, is the fact that it just lacked that balance. Can I fit four on the back of this thing? It looks like I might be able to. I can. I can fit eight guns on this thing. That seems a bit overkill. Uh, and just in case, we will put a... I think it's mines. We don't have any because it's on the other boat. Well, those are the revolving guns, by the way. They don't do a lot of damage, they don't usually have a lot of ra range, but, you know, if you want them, I suppose. Well, I guess we're just going to have main guns and machine guns. We have a single 25mm cannon, whatever. I 
Well, I'll just put, you know, a few of these through the center. Kind of like that. There we go. A few spotlights, searchlights, whatever they are. Which just let me see things a little bit better at night, is really all those do. There's no reason not to have them, though. They don't weigh very much. Alright, is there anything we can do... ...about our extremely slow speed? Yes. All right, we're really close to the weight limit and we have no armor. Let's do that. So 15 centimeter full armor, 34 speed, and a lot of guns. I didn't put any systems on it. Whoops, paint fire on the side or go faster stripes. I wish you could. Look at that. It's wooden and everything. Has no systems on it though. So we have to fix that. Can you have double row guns? Yes, I mentioned that earlier. Uh, would the revolving guns fit on a sub? Yes, they would. The problem with that is that if you have guns side by side, they can't turn. So they lose a lot of their rotation. So when you broadside something, only half of the guns would be firing anyway. So there's no real reason to do that. The only point that would be useful is something like a battle carrier, because broadside is useless anyway because you have no guns on the back of your boat. So you would put double guns on the front and just point at whatever you're shooting at. Anyway, we need systems. We actually do have weight. I forgot about that. Shouldn't be terribly crippling, but I forgot they had weight. Radar 2, and then this. Which gives command. Did someone ever find out what command does? Hmm. You're still looking. Okay. And we may as well... Never mind. We don't have those researched, so we can't put them on there. Yeah, no, whatever. Good enough. We'll use this boot. It's not the most optimal design, because we don't have enough stuff researched for it, but we have a really big boat now. I forgot what this mission was. I think command is just like a straight up buff to, you know, like, uh, ac excuse me, accuracy and stuff like that, but I don't really know. Oh yeah, it's the boss fight. The fight where you need to go relatively fast. Look at this, man. Boom. This is how you build cruisers. None of that sissy stuff. You put eight guns on it and roll with it. Who, what, where? No, there is reason that is that you have double guns. Then you have a single column, so you broadside something, you have double guns firing. That statement massively confused me, sir. Also, the boss is over here, though, over there somewhere. It's probably too far away. It's not drawn yet. This, this boat is so slow! Also, it doesn't have any forward propulsion mechanics, so. Hello! I'm currently ignoring you and going towards this friendly boat over here. There it is. Why am I going to that? Because it's an objective. It's not going to tell you that until you get close to it. Also, there's the boss. Hi, boss. How about we lure them near a U.S. Army base? No, we'll just shoot it ourselves. It'll be alright. Ignore the fact that it has like 50 guns and a bunch of torpedoes. It'll be alright. Also, it's, you know, powered by jets spewing flame out the back of it. Just ignore that part. Unless it means it rendered. Yeah, it did render. It's powered.